Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Missouri Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before we get started, I'm going to go through a couple of reminders for our attendees. Uh, first, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. I do recommend using that throughout the entirety of our session today to get any questions you have asked and answered. A reminder that your camera and your microphone are off, uh, so our presenters here can't see or hear you. The only way to get your questions asked and answered is using that Q&A button, so I recommend using it. A reminder uh, to sign up for more sessions. And another reminder that all sessions are being recorded, including this one, so you will be able to view the recording at strivescan.com slash Missouri in a few days. So without any further ado, I'm going to start, uh, inter I mean, we're going to start with our presentations. First, we were supposed to hear from Southern Illinois University. They're not here at the moment. If they do show up, we will put them in at the end, but we will move on next to hear from Maryville University. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Let me get my presentation pulled up. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that okay. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Travis Patak. I'm an Assistant Director of Admissions at Maryville University. I'm here to just give you a little bit more information about us. So we're a small private university located in town and country, Missouri, um, just about 20 minutes out from downtown St. Louis. Um, again, small, private. We do have about 11,000 students totally enrolled, um, but that's in all populations being online, on campus, undergraduate and graduate. If you're just focused on undergraduate students, we just have just under a few thousand. So again, very small um, and diversity and inclusion is one of our core values here. So we do like to share that we have um, a student from each state as well as 58 other countries being represented. We offer about 90 different degree programs. Um, we do have a more of a liberal arts foundation and kind of branch off to um, our four different colleges being our arts and sciences, health professions, school of education, as well as our school of business. We do offer 22 different athletic teams in the Great uh, Lakes Valley Conference, um, NCAA Division II. Um, about 150 different student clubs and organizations. We do throw about 3,000 events each year. So there's always a lot um, for our students to get involved in. Um, and the classes are gonna be very small. It is gonna be that 14 to one student to faculty ratio. It's gonna be more of an intimate type of class where you'll get to know your professors pretty well. You get to know um, everybody in your cohort pretty well. Um, so just to focus a few of our, our academic programs, um, I think we're more known for our health professions programs because um, a good amount of them are gonna be either this freshman entry or direct admit. Type of program. So if we just highlight the top two, nursing and physical therapy, um, very popular competitive programs that we have. Nursing is going to be a four-year program, um, and physical therapy is going to be a six and a half year program. And the way these work is once you apply and get accepted, you are in that program. No extra applications or tests need to be taken, uh, taken, especially with the physical therapy program. After you're done with your fourth year of your undergraduate work, you are directly admitted into that graduate portion for those two and a half years. Um, same type of structure for occupational therapy and our speech and pathology program. Um, a few of other popular programs we offer is going to be our Rawlings Sport and Business Management Program. Um, students in this field do get that opportunity to work closely with the Rawlings company, as well as with uh, a few um, of our professional teams here in St. Louis. So they work with the Cardinals and the Blues, sometimes even reach out to the Kansas City Royals. We offer cybersecurity as well, which is definitely still up and coming. Um, our students can either choose to specialize in an offensive, defensive, or just a general track. Um, and then something brand new to us in this upcoming fall 2021 semester in August is going to be computer science. Students can choose from these five different specialties to, to, to specialize in. Um, another resource we have for our students is our live coaches. Um, their main area is to help you get registered for your classes for your first two years. Um, so they'll help you develop academically, helping you get in touch with peer tutors if you need them. Uh, but they can also help you develop professionally and personally. They'll be able to, to help you build your resumes, um, run mock interviews and things like that. So you have that experience um, by the time you're, you're out in the real world, getting these real resumes or submitting your resumes and getting these real interviews. Um, something else that helps us um, be, be jump out there and separate us from other universities is we are an Apple Distinguished School. Um, so this allows us to give all incoming traditional full-time undergraduate students um, an iPad and an Apple Pencil, and it is completely free, um, no charge there, and it is yours to keep after you graduate. So this iPad, we preload with about 200 different apps that you can use throughout your career. Um, every student gets one of these, so, so you all have pretty much what you need at your fingertips, your textbooks. Um, you can take your notes, submit your homework, things like that. So it's a really great resource for our students. This is something we like to showcase, which is our career success rate sitting around that 97, 98%. Um, so really we're just saying this 98% uh, of our graduating class either have that full-time job or are accepted into their graduate program of choice six months after they graduate. Um, and at the bottom, we break it down by schools or colleges. 
um, they're all above 95%. So again, just something we really, really like to share. Um, we we're very proud of to, that are to show this stat to our students. Um, journey to becoming a saint is fairly simple. Um, general admissions, all you need is an application and a transcript. Um, a lot of those health professions programs that I talked about earlier are going to be looking at your application, your transcripts, um, and usually uh, two additional letters of recommendation. Um, we do a holistic review, so we will look at everything you submit um, from your application, your transcripts, um, any letters of recommendation that you get. We are test optional as well, so we don't require any students to submit any test scores. Um, but we do we look at everything that you submit. So make sure if you do have any extracurricular activities that you include that um, on your, your resume or in your application as well. So just a little snapshot of what our tuition looks like. We actually um, have been on a tuition freeze for the past five years, been test optional for the past five years. Um, and we actually decreased tuition by 5% since last year. You can see the difference between the two years. Um, we do also have one fee that is in, it just kind of includes all fees put together. So it's going to be around that 20 um, just last slide, just real quick. Uh, we do have on campus visits as well as a bunch of different virtual experiences on Wednesdays. We have a sneak peek series where we talk about various different parts of the application process, admissions process, um, financial aid scholarships as well, just kind of digging into a little bit more of the programs that we offer. Um, and then on Tuesdays, we have a Maryville webcast series, which is student fan. So you get to hear from our students, um, just their the Maryville life, what life is like on campus, um, things you like to do around St. Louis and things like that. All of this can be found at maryville.edu slash visit. But that's all I have for you guys. Again, if you guys have questions for any of us, please use the Q&A feature. Um, but take care, guys. Great. Yeah, thank you so much. And next, we will hear from Southeast Missouri State University. Hello, everyone. My name is Brooke Lockhart. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Southeast Missouri State University. Um, some quick facts about the university. We are a mid-sized regional university located in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, which is about two hours south of St. Louis. Uh, we have just under 11,000 students. We have over 145 majors and our class size, our average class size is 30 to 35. Um, and really once you get up into your major courses and you're done with your general education courses, those class sizes can get much smaller, um, down to 20, maybe even 15 students per class. We are Division I Athletics, and we have over 15 NCAA teams. Uh, we were home to five Ohio Valley Conference Championships last year. Um, so as you can see, our women really cleaned it up, um, but we had a really exciting athletic year um, right, right as COVID was, was hitting. Uh, we have over 200 student organizations, so lots of different ways for you to get involved. Um, those student organizations include uh, academic organizations, social organizations, service organizations, and faith-based organizations, so lots of different ways to get connected. Um, we do have over 20 club sports, uh, including esports, so that is uh, an exciting feature that we have here at CMOS. If you're a gamer um, and you like to play, you can definitely check that out, or if you just like to spectate they have a really awesome space um, where our gamers get to play and you can study and use that that lounge area we also over offer over 70 study abroad destinations and you can be gone for as long as one year or as short as one week um, so you can check out those opportunities here every single major on our campus does have the opportunity to study abroad um, and then we also have 23 greek organizations if that is an area that you're interested in exploring during your college career we have a lot of different residence halls and dining facilities. Um, we have your typical community style and then we have suite style. So the more popular residence hall style now is suite style. And so we do have the majority of our, of our dorms are suite style. Uh, we do have a couple of community options left as well. And then we have over 16 dining facilities on campus. So lots of places for you to live and eat and learn on campus. We are made up of five colleges, so I will very quickly kind of go through and just offer some highlights. Um, our first college is the Harrison College of Business and Computing. You can see on the screen that we are recognized in the top 5% of business programs in the world, which is really cool um, for being here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, and then the other thing I'd like to point out is that we are now nine times cyber defense champions. Um, this slide definitely needs to be updated because we just won our ninth uh, championship in the state of Missouri. So 
that's really excited, exciting for us as our cybersecurity students are put up against some really big schools. And so I will proudly say that if you're thinking about cybersecurity, you cannot choose a better program than CMO has to offer. We then have our Holland College of Arts and Media. We are the only college in the state of Missouri to have a campus entirely dedicated to the arts. And that means we have a separate campus called our River Campus that houses art, dance, music, and theater. We also have Missouri's largest conservatory of theater and dance. And we're the only university to be accredited in all four areas of the arts here in the state of Missouri. Um, so that means we have national accreditation in art, dance, music, and theater. And mass media also falls under this college and they too to have that national accreditation. We then have our College of Education, Health and Human Studies. We are also an Apple Distinguished Education Program recognized for our technology in the classroom. And we do also have a nursing program and you can see that our students have 100% um, nursing licensure pass rate. So all of our students are passing that NCLEX and ready to go out and get jobs as nurses. We then have the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. We are the only university in the entire uh, country to be um, invited to participate in a week-long CSIS program, and that is the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Um, so our university for the last several years has been the only one in the U.S. to be invited, and that's where students get to go and participate in all these strategic conversations that happen in Washington, D.C. Um, and then we also are home to one of only nine historic preservation programs in the nation. And then our last college is our College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So STEM, as most of us would call that. Um, and something really new and exciting is that we have a brand new professional pilot program that will be flying into Cape this fall. Um, we've had a lot of interest in that opportunity, and that is an area that is expected to grow greatly. And so we're really excited to be able to partner with our local airport and be able to provide that as an opportunity for our students. So what will a Southeast degree do for me? 97% uh, of our alumni are employed or uh, employed in their industry or um, enrolled in a graduate program one year after they graduate with their bachelor's degree. This slide will show you a lot of different companies that we have um, sent our graduates to. They are working in some big name industries. And so you can feel confident that a degree from Southeast Missouri State University is recognized and can get you a really great job. We do also offer um, test optional scholarships and also test optional admission. Um, so this page will just quickly show you a lot of the scholarship opportunities that we have. Um, we have one competitive scholarship. It's that president scholarship. It is a $10,000 value. Um, we do award five of those each year and you do have to apply for those. Um, and you can kind of see through the other ones, Copper Dome, we have a housing scholarship, an in-state tuition scholarship, and then we have an endowed and sponsored scholarship program as well. This chart will show you what that looks like when you pair up your test scores and your GPA and what those values are. And then really quickly, how you can apply, cmo.edu slash apply. We have no application fee, no test scores required or essay. And I will end it there. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And next, we will hear from Western Illinois University. Hello. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael Grzeski, uh, and I am the St. Louis Regional Admissions Counselor for Western Illinois University. Um, wanted to tell you a little bit about Western Illinois University as far as campuses, we have two of them. Uh, one is located uh, in Macomb, Illinois, which is around three hours northeast of St. Louis, depending upon how fast you drive. Uh, it is our main campus. Uh, it is also where we have all four of our residence halls and uh, the bulk of our enrollment is also on that campus as well. We do have an additional campus, which is located in Moline, Illinois, which is also um, considered a commuter campus because there are no residence halls on that campus. Uh, it houses 30 of our 60 majors, but all of our majors, of course, are on the campus um, in Macomb, Illinois. So you can see here some of the numbers. These are numbers that should all stick out to you if you were looking at a, a state school, but a, a mid-sized state school where you're going to be in smaller class sizes, have a lot more access to your professors, and just overall a, a very close-knit feeling community when you're at uh, Western Illinois University. 
Um, as far as the freshman uh, application process goes, you know, just to keep, keep uh, just to really remind you is the fact is, is that if a student has a between a 2.0 and a 2.74 GPA, um, doesn't mean that you're not, you're not going to still be reviewed for admission. The 2.75, you're automatically accepted, but we would need additional materials if you're under that 2.75, uh, such as a letter of recommendation um, from a teacher that knows you really well, or your high school guidance counselor, um, some, something along those lines, and then also two updated transcripts and test scores if they are available. Another thing too is that we are test optional. We were actually test optional before COVID even hit. So we, we are used to that process already. Uh, so you can self-report your GPA when you apply or send in your transcript. But if you are below that 2.75, we will require, of course, the, uh, the transcript. Um, as far as tuition, Western Illinois University is very affordable with uh, the type of education that we're providing our students. As you can see where tuition is and now it's broken down here uh, per semester, of course, and when you add all that up for the year. But really what I want you to pay attention to is at the very bottom there in those bold white letters where it says four-year cost guarantee. Um, what this basically means is that you're able to lock in your direct costs, tuition, student fees, dorm room, meal plan for up to four years. So while tuition may increase for each other year's incoming freshman class, once you started uh, Western as a freshman, um, basically you're, you're locked in. Nothing is going to, to change for you there. And, and this is, of course, included for you students who are in Missouri, who are considered out of state, but it's actually included in all 50, uh, all, all states uh, across the country as well, too, which is great. So a very welcoming uh, addition for Western Illinois from the financial aspect. Um, also, too, I mean, in order to find out any other uh, information as far as what other finances that you can qualify for to help with your affording your education, you file the FAFSA with us by October the 1st. You can see there at the bottom, the average financial aid package is at 17646 So when you subtract that from what our cost is right now at Western at 21524 that difference is what the average cost is out of pocket of students having to pay at Western Illinois University. Scholarships, we have lots of scholarship opportunities, as you can see up here, as we uh, unleashed a whole bunch of other scholarship opportunities this uh, past year in 2020. Our Western Commitment Scholarship, you're automatically reviewed for when you apply, and those range from uh, anywhere from three dollars to $8,000 per year. You get an, an automatic St. Louis scholarship from applying from the St. Louis area, and that's a scholarship that's renewable for all four years. If you have alumni in your family, grandparent or a parent, you're going to get a four-year scholarship as well, too. You get a scholarship just for visiting campus, $1,000 just for visiting campus. Uh, and also, we have additional foundation scholarships that are available to students once they've been accepted uh, to apply, too. As far as academic programs at Western Illinois University, these next two slides here I wanted to show you are just listing all of our, our uh, different uh, programs. We are known for law enforcement and justice administration. It's a top five program, but also and also to agriculture, business, sports, broadcasting, musical theater. But we do have a few other options as well, too, that are that are new actuarial science, educational studies public health, and also minors in American Sign Language, computer science education, and also cannabis production. Uh, also to keep in mind here too, is that we are a division one sports institution. We have 17 varsity level sports. We also have 20 club sports. We also have 12 intramural sports. Um, athletics isn't your thing. We have 250 plus student organizations that you can take a look at to join. We also have a great multicultural center on campus that celebrates the diversity that we have on our campus too in um, so many different programs and activities that are ran through the multicultural center each uh, year for students. Also too, lots of support for students with our student development and success center, um, many different retention initiatives, especially during our first year for our students to be able to live together with other students in their same field of study and other options as well for students. So we really will take care of you here at Western. Um, if you're going to apply to Western Illinois University, as you can see here, just go to the, the main website here, click on uh, apply now in the top right corner and uh, go ahead and fill out the application. There is a $30 application fee. That fee can be waived if you fill out a fee waiver, of course, and also too, we will advertise throughout different portions of the fall, winter and early spring when we will allow you to apply for free. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me again. I'm the St. Louis Regional Admissions Counselor for Western Illinois University, Mike Krzyzewski. Thank you for your time. And now I will hand it off. Great. Thank you so much. And next we will hear from St. Louis University. All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mark Notham, and I'm one of our senior admission counselors here at St. Louis University. I've been at SLU for nearly, uh, actually just over five years now. Uh, and so hopeful tonight uh, that I'll be sharing some great information for, uh, to you all about our university. 
Uh, some first, some basic facts. So we have brought a considered a medium-sized institution with about 8,000 students in our undergraduate programs. We include our grad programs, our law school, and our medical school. It's around 12,500 for the total enrollment. Uh, we actually have two campuses, one here in St. Louis and another in Madrid, Spain, known as SLU Madrid. Uh, we were actually one of the first U.S. universities with a second campus in Europe, with SLU Madrid being founded a little over 50 years ago. Our university itself here in St. Louis was founded back in 1818, which makes us the oldest university west of Mississippi, as well as we are one of the 27 Catholic Jesuit institutions in the country. In the country. Excuse me. Uh, being a Catholic uh, Jesuit institution uh, is, is, is a focus on education of the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. This philosophy of education is known as Cure Personalis. And that's what we're really focused on here at SLU, is an education of that whole person uh, in all aspects uh, of your background. And uh, a question that we often get is, do you need to be Catholic to attend SLU? You do not. Only about half the students that attend SLU are Catholic. Uh, the other major component of a Jesuit education is a strong focus on service and social justice. And uh, our students are very focused on that. Uh, we are committed to giving back to our communities. Uh, and in 2019, our students, staff, and faculty combined for almost 2 million community service hours. Uh, what's important to know about that is it is entirely voluntary. You can come to SLU and never do a single hour community service. You can come to SLU and do 50 hours a year. It's how you want to get involved, but we do uh, really encourage our students to get involved. Another focus that we have is obviously on our strong education programs. Uh, with, with our education programs, all of your, uh, you when you apply to SLU, uh, you're automatically it, uh, considered for direct admission to that, to that degree program. Uh, we have nearly 90 different undergraduate degree programs to choose from. Uh, we are most well known for our programs related to the medical field, since we do uh, have our own medical school, as well as run two hospitals in the city of St. Louis, uh, and also a lot of great programs in like the allied health fields of like physical therapy, uh, nursing, occupational therapy. Uh, those are some great programs that we have that we see a lot of students interested in, as well as our engineering programs located in our Parks College of a a Engineering, Aviation, and Technology. Uh, we offer aerospace, mechanical, civil, computer, electrical, and biomedical engineering, uh, as well as a lot of our STEM programs overall, since we do offer a lot of great research opportunities on campus. Uh, we actually opened up a brand new interdisciplinary STEM building this past year. Uh, it's called the ICE Building. Uh, it's a new 90,000 square foot facility with 10,000 square feet of new lab space. And so we're very excited about offering a lot of great research opportunities uh, for all of our students on campus as well as we are well known for our, our programs in the uh, business field. Uh, one of the major advantages that our campus does have is that we're located right in the middle of the city of St. Louis, right in Midtown. So we have a lot of great connections to the area of businesses and corporations. What's important to know about some of our programs, they do have an early application deadline of December 1st. That's our occupational therapy, nursing, uh, physical therapy, as well as our flight science programs due to how competitive these programs are. We close that application come December 1st of your senior year. We have a lot of uh, great involvement on our campus. We're a very uh, active and engaged campus. Uh, about 92 to 93 percent of our incoming freshmen live on campus. Uh, and so uh, we have to keep campus fun and engaging. So we have over 50 different student organizations uh, on our campus. Uh, we have 50 intramural programs, kind of rec league style sports, if you're interested in that. But we also have 30 club sports. These are, you know, not Division I sports uh, teams that uh, compete at a lot of different other levels, typically Division II or Division III, and they do a lot of great uh, things with uh, other sports that we don't have the Division I level. Like uh, we have 18 Division I athletic sports, but we don't have a rugby team. We don't have an ice hockey team or a equestrian team, but we do have those for clubs. So it's kind of really cool opportunities there. Uh, we do have seven fraternities and seven sororities and 10 multicultural fraternities on our campus. Uh, with our Greek life, about 20% of our students are involved with Greek life every year. So it's kind of a good number there that, that sees a lot of great opportunities for students who, who want to be involved in Greek life. How to apply? Uh, we are a member of the Common App. Uh, so you can apply either directly through uh, our website at slu.edu slash apply, as well as we would accept the Common App. Um, however you apply through the website or through the Common App, there is not an application fee. It is free to apply to St. Louis University. Uh, we, like many other universities, have switched to being test optional. Uh, so you, it's no longer a requirement to submit a test score to be considered for admission at SLU. It is optional. So if you are very happy with your score, you had a great score, go ahead and submit that. We can review that for your admission. However, 
Uh, if you know, if, if you think that your just your transcript is a better reflection of you and your quality as a student, then go ahead and just submit that transcript, and we'll be happy to to review your permission for that. Uh, that's true for uh, almost our our entirely our special honors and scholars programs uh, that are often uh, seen as, as a very competitive. Um, several of those have also gone test optional or test blind as well, including our honors program and our medical scholars program. Uh, although it's not required, it is recommended to submit letters of recommendation and a resume uh, interview for involvement uh, to be considered for here in the fall and admission interviews in the fall. Guys, thank you for so much to hear about SLU and, and looking forward to hearing more uh, about some of the great institutions. Great, thank you so much. And lastly, we will hear from Webster University. All right, thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Morella and I'm an admissions representative at Webster University. Fun fact about me is that I'm actually a graduate of Webster and I work here and I'm in grad school here. So my running joke is that I'm a walking Webster billboard and I think I'm the perfect person to tell you all about being a student here. So real quick, I just wanna give a quick shout out to our faculty, staff and students. So we are open, we are here, our students are in their dorms. We have classes where we can safely social distance. And that's a testament to the COVID restrictions and guidelines that we put in place and that have kept us all happy, healthy and safe. I do also wanna mention that this presentation is actually a live webpage. I've put my contact information and the link to this in the chat. Copy it, bookmark it. You can come back to this as many times as you'd like. There are some links in here that I'd really like you guys to click into that I won't have time to share with you today. For those of you who don't know, Webster University is located in Webster Groves, Missouri. It's an area of St. Louis, Missouri. We're about 15, 20 minutes away from downtown St. Louis. So very close to the fun of downtown, but in this nice, safe, little historic area, um, a, a nice homey feel um, for our students as well. We were founded in 1915, so we've been around for quite some time. Um, and we're a smaller school. Currently, we have about 2,100 full-time undergraduate students, nine to one student to faculty ratio. Um, and we cap our classes at 25 students. Uh, but when I went here, I didn't really have more than 15 students uh, in class with me. And I find that to be true a lot of the time today. So around 15 students in class on average. For you, that means a smaller classroom size, a really um, intimate feel. You're going to get to know your professors. You're going to get to know your classmates. A lot of our faculty are adjunct faculty. So they're connected. They're going to be your connections for internships, mentorships, job opportunities, um, really quite a benefit there. We split our university into five different schools and colleges. Really what that means is just five different departments. And within these five different departments, there are over 120 different degree programs. You guys can click into these links on your own um, and check out all the different programs that we do offer. I like to say that we offer a little bit of something for everyone. Webster also makes it super easy to transfer credits as well. So if you're taking any dual credits or any AP courses, as long as it's coming from an accredited institution, we're gonna be able to give you that. Um, we make it so easy that 50% of our students are actually transfer students. So if you're looking to go to a community college first and then transfer to Webster, we make that super easy for you too. I know some schools can be nitpicky about that. With us, as long as it's accredited, we're gonna give you that credit. Webster also has over 70 different clubs and organizations. We make it super easy for you to be as involved as you'd like to. Um, and it's really easy to make a club too. If you and nine other people get together and decide on a topic, um, you guys can have your own club. We also constantly have lectures and events on campus. We even have a radio station. So if you'd like to have your own radio station, um, you can submit for that and have your own time slot. You can click on that link right there to see the different clubs and organizations that we have. When I say we have something for everyone, I really mean it. We're a D3 athletic school, so we have sports as well. These are the men's sports that we have, and these are the women's sports. We are a member of the St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletic Association. We do compete. We do really well. This little cutie right here is our mascot. It is the Gorlock. Uh, there was a BuzzFeed article about the weirdest college college campus mascots, and we did make it on there. In my opinion, he was the cutest one on there, so kudos to us for that. We do also provide campus housing for our students um, and they're modern and comfortable. It's you and a roommate and you guys share um, a bathroom with your suite mates next door, two door room, four door bathroom, um, not like 16 people on a floor sharing a bathroom. I know some universities do that, we don't. We also offer you free laundry as well and you can request a roommate. If two of you are coming in at the same time, you'd like to request each other, we can make that happen. There is a 360 tour of the dorms um, in this link right here. We have an amazing study abroad 
program compared to other universities, um, I like to say it's one of the best in the nation. And that's because we're a global university. We actually are located on four different continents. So if you go to any of these places, you will find a Webster University. What that means for you is that your tuition, your scholarships, your financial aid, it all travels with you because you're going to a Webster University. We also pay for your round trip ticket for you to go. So I highly suggest students take advantage of that. It's super easy to apply to Webster. You can do it three different ways. Apply online. We never have a fee for our application. You can apply through the Common App or you can apply through the College Coalition application. We'll take your transcripts. We are test optional. So if you submit test scores, great. If not, it's totally fine. We take a holistic approach to viewing everybody's transcripts. We're also open for visits. Come see us. We are here on campus. You can tour the campus. You can get to meet one of us admissions reps. We'll wear a mask. We'll be socially distant, but we'll get you on campus so you can fall in love with Webster. One of my favorite things about Webster is the very generous scholarships that we offer. They range from $13,000 to $19,000. We always offer those to our students, um, even if you're test optional. So based on your merit, you don't have to apply for them. We just offer you one. Um, our tuition is $28,500. So those scholarships, they're renewable for all four years. So that takes a nice chunk of that um, tuition out. On top of that, we can stack any scholarships that you're bringing in. We have competitive scholarships one of which is a full tuition scholarship. And then on top of that, we'll stack anything that you get from the FAFSA. The FAFSA opens, opens up in October, so make sure to apply for that. We have our school code listed on here as well. And then I do have a link here for you to click into those competitive scholarships that we have, check out and see if you do qualify for any of those. I highly suggest you do that. Like I said, we're open for visits. Please come and visit us. We'd love to have you here on campus. It's webster.edu slash visit. If you come in person, I promise not to talk this fast um, <laughs> and we'll get to sit down and really talk about you as an individual. And also contact information is located at the bottom of this too. So if you haven't already, copy that link, bookmark it. Um, but I hope to see you on campus. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. So unfortunately uh, our other school Southern Illinois University wasn't able to make it, but we are going to use the last few minutes just to go around the room. Um, I'm going to pose some questions for our panelists here, uh, just so they get some time to talk a little bit more about their school and uh, just give some advice, some general advice about the college search process. So I would invite all of our panelists, if you wouldn't mind turning your cams back on, I'm going to share my screen and pose the first question of what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So we will start up at the top with Maryville University. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I guess the best advice is, obviously if you can do your own research, go ahead and do it, but you always have us as a resource. So don't, don't hesitate to reach out to us with any, any questions you have. Uh, we wanna make sure that you're going to a school that, that just, it fits you perfectly and that has something that you wanna do for the rest of your life. So don't hesitate to reach out to us for advice. Great. Next, Southeast Missouri State University. Hello. I would say my biggest piece of advice would be to visit visit the campuses that you're interested in. Um, you know, with the internet at our fingertips, college the, the college search process is so much easier than when I did it or our parents did it or whoever we know that used to do it. And so you can get a lot of information on the internet, but what you can't get is how the school feels when you step foot on that campus. So definitely visit campuses. I think that is the most important thing you can do. Great. Next, Western Illinois University. I, yes, uh, I second the, the first two uh, counselors, they all great advice. Um, so not to beat a, a beat a dead horse there, um, visiting the course campus too, yes, very important. Um, I think what I would just uh, to add to that is utilize your, um, your admissions counselor. Each one of us that's on this screen right now, we're advocates for you, we're here to help you. So when we're sending you emails, when we're sending you text messages or giving you phone calls, we're, we're, we're reaching out to you because you've shown some interest along the way. And so please um, utilize this in any way, shape or form. We're here to help you um, to, to not only get um, to help you with getting applying, getting accepted, but also to scholarships uh, and, and, and everything about the institution we work for. So utilize your admissions counselor. Yeah, great. And um, next, St. Louis University. Yeah, I, I have to agree with everything that's been said already. Those are all great opportunities and, and ideas to do uh, through this college decision process. But I think another great opportunity is attending events like this. These are you know, a great way to get 
a lot of information from different institutions in a short amount of time. Can we tell you everything about our campuses today? No, but at least kind of gives you a starting point uh, of maybe launching some interest that you might have in that university uh, that you didn't know about before. Yeah, and lastly, Webster University. You all took my go-to answer of contacting your admissions rep, so I'll go a different route. I would say create an email that you're going to use for all of your applications. Make it something simple, your name, maybe add a few numbers to it, um, because we will be contacting you a lot and check that email. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of information there, so make it something professional, something you can use, um, and something that we can get in touch with and check it. All great pieces of advice. Um, let's move on to another question, something a little bit more fun. Uh, what is your favorite event or tradition on your campus? And we'll start up at the top again with Maryville University. Um, so there's a few. Um, I'll pick one. We do have um, a gnome hunt that is uh, really known around Maryville campus, but I think my favorite has to be Cram Jam, um, where it's um, finals week. Um, all students, I you know pre-COVID, we'd, we'd be in the cafeteria with our study groups, things that, um, and then our cafeteria, our fresh ideas, um, they would serve us breakfast food. Our president would be down there serving us breakfast food and things like that. So it's a great time to, to see everybody on campus, um, but it's also, you know, showing our students that we care about your grades and, and you're, you're successful in your classes. So that's definitely one of them, Cram Jam. Great. Southeast Missouri State University. My favorite events and traditions happen uh, right at the beginning of the school year. So every fall, um, we have our opening week activities, and there's just so many fun things that happen. But the one that I like the most is our ice cream pig out. So all of our new students and even our current students get to come. Um, the president of the university scoops the ice cream for everyone. You put whatever toppings you want on it. You can come back for seconds and thirds and however much you want. And it's just a really great time. Of course, pre-COVID, this was a lot more fun. It wasn't quite as fun last year because everything was pre-packaged, um, but it's it's definitely my favorite tradition. Awesome. Western Illinois University. Uh, yeah, I got a hankering for ice cream now. Um, so uh, <laughs> uh, one of the cool things at, at Western, of course, our mascot is a bulldog. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I love bulldogs. And uh, um, there's uh, statues, different statues of, of, the, of our mascot around campus. And one of them is designated for the students uh, to do different things, um, of course, appropriate things of painting it, doing whatever throughout the year. And so it's always interesting to see how they dress up the statue throughout the year. And then also to um, at different social events, taking pictures with, with the, our, our Bulldog Rocky, whether it's at a football game or at the student center or, or at the multicultural center. And the students just absolutely love it. Awesome. And lastly, Webster University. Are we going to skip over SLU? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Same I'll work. go first and then I'll let SLU go. How yeah, does that sound? Sorry about that. I, I got ahead of myself there. Um, for me, uh, I would say I have two. One is humans versus zombies. Everybody starts out of humans and then eventually the goal is for everyone to be zombies. That's always fun. Um, but I really also like Webster University every year has um, diversity, equity, and inclusion conference. It's open to everyone. So even if you're not a student or a staff or faculty member, you can join it. And it's just a really great opportunity to get in on some very important conversations. Um, this year it was virtual and we still had over 2000 participants. So something to look into. All right. Thank you. And now, lastly, St. Lawrence University, St. Louis University. All right, St. Louis University. All right, so obviously we're a very unique mascot in the Billiken, uh, and so we're very well known for that. And we have a bronze Billiken outside of Chaffetz Arena uh, that has a very shiny belly uh, because everyone rubs its belly for good luck when it comes to midterms and finals. Uh, and obviously maybe there was some hand sanitizer nearby this year, uh, but, uh, you know, we do try to keep it uh, you know, those fun and Billikens are all statues all across campus. And so try to keep those traditions alive. It's always a great fun feature here at SLO. Great. So we have time for our last question. So I'm going to pull that up here. And it's not really a question, just a cool chance to talk about the school a little bit more. Give us an interesting or fun fact about your school. We will start up again with Maryville University. Thank you. So I think definitely one of the, the fun things is that we, we do give out iPads to our students. So everybody has that um, at their fingertips. But I think an interesting fact um, that was recently shared by our president is that so we did decrease tuition last year. 
Um, but tuition probably won't ever go up again for us, but it may continue to go down. So that's just something really interesting and really fun that we like to share with, with all students and families thinking about Maryville. Great. Southeast Missouri State University. So I mentioned that we are the only campus in the state of Missouri to have a separate campus entirely dedicated to the arts. Uh, but in addition to that, a lot of people don't know that we also have three regional campuses um, further down south into the Boot Hill. So in our mission statement, um, we are dedicated to truly serving and educating the region um, in which we live. And so we actually offer classes on multiple campuses. Um, and when you're not from the area, you're not aware usually that we have uh, multiple opportunities for students to um, get educated. Great. Western Illinois University. Yes, we're known as the Fighting Leathernecks. What in the world does that have to do with the Bulldog? Well, actually, it's the nickname of uh, the, the uh, from the Marine uniform for their leatherneck collars. Uh, that came from the fact that we had a former athletic director when we first started all this in the 1920s. He was a retired Marine. To this day, I'm still understanding that Western Illinois University is the only college in this country that the, the mascot name is um, was commissioned by, from the military and approved by the military. Awesome. St. Louis University? Yeah, so uh, athletically, we're most well known for our uh, basketball team, but the first half of the 20th century, we did have a football team. Uh, and uh, we are historically, uh, we were the first football team to have a forward pass. It's kind of a, a unique thing that, especially for a school that doesn't have football anymore, but it will always be in the record books for, for having the first forward pass in football history. And lastly, Webster University. Um, so mine is kind of an interesting fact when it comes to education at Webster. A lot of universities have students taking a lot of general education courses when they first come in. At Webster, we do things a little differently. First year, first semester, typically half of your courses are in the subject area that you're trying to study. So it gives you an opportunity to stay interested and also decide if that's what you really want to study for the next four years. So that's one of our benefits. Great. Well, we got had a good opportunity to get some extra questions in as well as hear from all of our presenters. That is all we have today. I want to remind all of our attendees that you guys can use the Q&A for the next few minutes. We've got about a minute and a half left in our session. So feel free to use that Q&A button now. If not, I want to say thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you all taking the time uh, to listen to us today. When you do close out of here, which you're more than welcome to do whenever, there will be a quick four question survey that'll pop up on your screen. If you wouldn't mind filling that out, we'd appreciate it. Uh, we're always looking to make improvements on our events and that is how we do it. So we thank you in advance. And a reminder that recordings of this session as well as all the other sessions from this event will be available at strivescan.com slash Missouri within the next couple of days. So I wanna thank our panelists for taking the time to chat with everyone today, as well as our attendees for taking the uh, time to come out and listen to us. And I'll leave the room open for about a minute so or so more. Uh, feel free to ask any questions and our panelists will be happy to answer. All righty. doesn't look like we have any questions uh, coming in and most of our attendees are, are leaving at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and end our session a little bit early. Thank you again to everybody who did take the time today to, to hear from us and enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Bye, everyone. Looks like there's a QA and a in there, so I will uh, I'll leave the room open for another minute just so we can get that answered.
All right, it looks like another question did come in, but I'm gonna have to close uh, the session for today. For the attendees who ask the questions, our panelists up here will get your contact info, so they'll all be able to reach out in the next couple of days just to check in on you and get any questions uh, that you did have answered. So I am gonna go ahead and close our session, but rest assured that uh, these reps up here will be in contact very shortly. Thanks everyone and have a great night.